Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the smooth motion node. So we're in our edit tab here and we've got this footage. And let's say uh, our client decided this uh, water coming down here is a little too distracting, which it kind of is, but we need to remove this water. And as you can see, it's not that easy of a task. Just looking at it off the edge, if you're talking about doing actual removal and using removal tools to get rid of all that, it's going in front of her, it's going behind her in the side. It's kind of crazy. It's one of those shots where you're like, let's, let's just reshoot it then without the water. But Fusion will let us do this. So let's jump into Fusion. And we're going to add a optical flow node. And we're going to input it on our footage. And while I'm talking, I'm going to run it through. And I'm just going to leave this on there, our uh, default settings here. Now the smooth motion node, the smooth motion node allows you to choose different channels to smooth like AOV variables and, and on your channels and it's kind of hard to explain exactly what it's doing but from my experience what it's doing is it's looking at what's happening within the image and given the channels you choose it's removing anything that kind of doesn't belong or stuff that is uh maybe moving too fast or just doesn't quite fit within your image and it's smoothing all that out based off of your using your vector data from your optical flow and whatever channel you, you choose and it does require the optical flow node to operate so let's go ahead and add it in and i'll show you why it's a little confusing so we will add a smooth motion and bring it in and on the smooth motion node the only things you have to choose are channels so you're only selecting what channel you want to be smooth and again if you remember right if we right click and go over our channels we can see all the channels we have so within this footage right here we have our color channels we have an alpha channel and we have our vectors both our forward and backward vector channels so those are the only channels that are going to operate now if you select something on a channel you don't have it's just going to fail that channel and it's not going to fail your overall node so you can select them all if you want and these channels are kind of self-explanatory other than uh, your uh, coverage and this stuff is 3D stuff for your texture and your normals. And we know our vector is our forward vector. Our back vector is our back vector. Our world position has to do with 3D and disparity has to do with stereo channels when we're working with stereo footage. So on this footage, we know we have vectors. So let's go ahead and select our back vector our regular vector and you notice it's really not doing anything because it's kind of looking for more channel information and obviously this rain is part of our color channel so let's go ahead and check color and look at that we just lost almost all of that water as soon as we check that button so as I play through you can see almost all that water dropping down is gone So what we can do is we can come into our optical flow node and we can maybe play with our warp counts to see if we start minimizing some of those droplets. That's kind of bringing some back. We can play with our iteration. See if we start losing or gaining that water back. And we can play with our smoothness to uh, smooth out or get rid of some stuff 
But one good thing about this smooth motion node is we can compound them. So right now, this single smooth motion node is looking at the previous frame and the next frame to see what is kind of chaotic here. So if we add another smooth motion, now we're looking at a total of three frames. And if we add another smooth motion, we're looking at a total of seven frames. So if I select this one and select color and then our vectors, and select this one, color in our vectors. Now, if I play it back, you can see uh, our water is gone. Other than we've got some stuff flying off of our hair and, uh, but completely changed the image using the optical flow in the smooth motion node. So going from this to this. So I will see you in the next node breakdown.